the elite in micropigmentation. We actually all require more knowledge in micropigmentation. That involves all attendees, all trainers and all suppliers and manufacturers. So I ask you all to participate and I invite you to be a part of the future, to be a part of the peer group that is designing the future. Thank you. Equiry has been practicing micropigmentation for a very, very long time. We started in 1984. At that time, there were no machines. There were hardly pigments. Actually, we use a bamboo stick, uh, a chopped stick, uh, the same one you still find at a Chinese restaurant. And we put, insert in the, the pigment, and point by point, we created an eyebrow. And today, I want to tell you something about a new improvement, something that will change our industry again, and that is the regrow of natural eyebrow hair. Sì. Se noi osserviamo queste immagini, vediamo come le labbra sono, venivano modificate con strumenti diversi, sicuramente allo scopo di renderle più belle e sensuali. Parlando di dettagli, possiamo dire che le labbra rappresentano eh, l'elemento centrale del terzo inferiore del viso e quindi la loro valorizzazione migliora tutto il distretto. Des Fernandez e Dr. Aus concluded that they had been using a 3 mm roller and they found actually by using a 1 mm roller they actually achieved the same result. So again, they concurred with our findings that you don't really need to work as deeply into the skin. Um, secondly, um, there was a study that was authored by uh, Dr. Joseph Greco, and um, he actually revealed that new collagen cells can be found in the skin at a depth of 0.6 millimeter. So just to recap on what Sam said, we're delivering these products into the skin in a very gentle way, barely breaking the skin. So the people that we've found most popular to, um, over 30s, clients that have come in for cosmetic treatments and hear about the meso. It's great for clients that also have Botox and fillers. It's very popular for clients that have special events that they go into or functions. And it's also a fantastic treatment for men. Many different people come for different purposes. If it's just a wrinkle, it's one thing. But if it's some kind of scarring um, or traumaed skin, it's going to be very unpredictable. And not just a physical unpredictability, there's also an emotional one involved there, which I'm going to talk through just a little bit later. The fact of creating delle zone troppo marcate, quindi poco sfumate, diamo l'idea di finto. E adesso vi darò, vedremo un po' insieme alcuni esempi. Ecco, questo è un ragazzo che si era sottoposto ad una micropigmentazione del cuoio capelluto per avere un effetto rasato. Quindi, perché è una bellissima disciplina, molto remunerativa, ma soprattutto una grande nuova sfida per noi dermopigmentisti. Ehm, che cosa abbiamo sostanzialmente messo a punto, un qualche cosa che probabilmente già esisteva qualche tempo fa, noi abbiamo mh, perfezionato. Some people they say that, uh, Coco, what do you think? I feel this is good because of, from my point of view, everyone, when they go to a lesson mm -hmm. or a congress, they just want to get what they want, although it's just one point or so, at least you have something. Because every allegedly they have their own strength. So just catch what you want, that's it. Meine Erwartungen waren die, dass ich ähm, zunächst etwas mehr über das Permanent Make-up erfahren wollte. Es ist zwar völlig fachfremd für mich, aber trotzdem ist es immer interessant, äh, wenn man Patienten darüber auch interessante Dinge vermitteln kann. Und dann war ähm, einfach mein Plan, 
der, dass ich diese gute Zusammenarbeit zwischen äh, Frau Schollenberger und mir ähm, eben dem Publikum, also den anderen Kosmetikerinnen präsentieren wollte, als Vorbild, um es um uns im Prinzip nachzumachen. With the permanent international congress, we wanted to build a platform. A platform for people to exchange knowledge um, and to share their experience. Um, and uh, I can absolutely say that, that I have the feeling that exactly this is being fulfilled. I was actually able to um, uh, do some work on um, eyes, uh, as you might see, um, and eyes, as I already said, is always a problem for us. Yeah. Com, com composto ácido, uh, and não and com despigmentador. Mm -hmm. I've been working with um, acid and with the <laughs> depigmenter. Até que eu vi esse trabalho de um professor já falecido meu. Eu estava junto com ele. Foi aí que eu me encantei. So this is a work done uh, by one of uh, the teachers, um, a nice uh, teacher that I, I knew for a long time, and I saw this work and I was absolutely enchanted. First of all, we have to speak about titanium dioxide. It's the white pigment used by every supplier. We have a carbon black, which could be supposed as an inorganic pigment, and of course, the different iron oxides. Three different iron oxide shades, black, red, and yellow. We take the yellow, for example, and we mix it with the purple. Go on, clicking, clicking, <laughs> click, and we get the brown. Yes, click. Exactly. So now it's maybe brown. Сколько времени результат держится на коже, сколько лет, и каким образом вы достигаете этой стойкости результатов? Это первый вопрос у меня еще будет. She was asking, uh, what is my experience? How long those pigments last in the skin? Mm -hmm. um, I have to tell you, those lips are my lips. I did them as soon as we got the color. That was about a year ago. So surely it fades, but also I didn't do a touch-up treatment. I think uh, today uh, was very important for me the uh, presentation about organic and uh, inorganic pigments. I think this is the new on the market and everybody, uh, this is also the new knowledge that everybody would like to know more. But of course we need time to, to see final results for, for a few years. But uh, we are very interested. Linda think that are was an Anya and Dr. Susanna. Mm -hmm. Because in China in this moment our medical beauty is medical beauty. Mm -hmm. Beauty is beauty. They cannot combine together. Mm -hmm. So this is very new for her. Mm -hmm. And then she thinks it's quite good that our doctor, they have their professional and beauty, they have, you know, just beauty. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, uh, I prefer the growing hair part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, mine yesterday was definitely, the gala dinner was amazing. And to mingle with new people that I've never met before, it was really interesting. And then also today has got to be our presentation. I've never presented before to such a big audience, so it was a real achievement for me. Drawing of eyebrow in the shortest possible times. Everyone is professional here, masters. So we always facing to design a pair of eyebrow. 
because everyone they have their different muscle and reaction when you're drawing a pair of eyebrows. The ink will stay in the dermis for quite a long time, about five to six years. Uh, after it fades out, it may still have the mark still there. And, but it's uh, smaller wounds and a shorter healing time compared with the tattoo. But the color will turn red. You can see a pictures. Uh, for the tattoo, that will change to green color and blue color. But for the embroidering, will change to reddish color or orange color. And the eyebrow shape and color can be changed with the chain. I uh, have my own style and very natural style eyebrow. And of course, they don't want to paint. So less paint is also very important. Personally, uh, of course, as a plastic surgeon, now I know some time how to bring and how to relate with people that do uh, permanent pigmentations and I can, I mean, cooperate better with those people for all the step off of the surgery, scars or breast reconstruction and whatever with us. Primär natürlich mit neue Kontakte, die man knüpfen kann. Also gerade eben hatte ich zum Beispiel einen Kontakt, da ging es dann wieder um Regulierung von Farben oder von Produkten. In die Richtung ziehen wir als Firma auch ab, dass wir uns da gerne beteiligen möchten, Sicherheit erhöhen möchten und solche Kontakte sind für mich dann eben sehr, sehr wichtig und die kann man hier eben auch sehr gut knüpfen. Ja, es ist eigentlich eine kleine Erholungsreise, wo man Positives mitnimmt. Man sieht wieder die Stadt Berlin und äh, ja, man tauscht sie aus und inzwischen nach über zehn Jahren Berlin reisen hat man ja auch in der Runde immer Bekannte und ganz liebe Freunde inzwischen und es ist einfach ein nettes Come Together jetzt privat gesehen und ja und die Amtveranstaltungen wie die letzten zehn Jahre immer wieder sind auch sehr nett und sehr gesellig und das ist eigentlich ja, das, das macht es ja irgendwie aus ja What kind of effect does this wound healing has on our end result as a, um, at the pigmentation? What kind of aftercare products do we have? Just a simple overview. Uh, the next thing what happens very immediately is um, that we have clotting of blood, the reduction of the flow. This Dann das ästhetische Empfinden ist auch ein wichtiger Aspekt und ich bin dankbar, dass Frau Dr. Hermann Frühwald und ich das gleiche ästhetische Empfinden haben. Nicht alle Fältchen und Linien in einem Gesicht sind negativ. Manche Fältchen sind da, wo sie sind, genau richtig. Und da liegt es in der Hand des Mediziners, auch mal Nein zu sagen. Mehr und mehr Männer finden auch die, den Weg in die ästhetische Sprechstunde zur Faltenbehandlung und auch ähm, äh, ästhetisch-plastische Eingriffe. Hier die Behandlung der 
Zornesverhalten mit Botox, wodurch das Gesicht einfach entspannter und erholter aussieht. Some people in the industry helped us along on our way, produced a machine, fabulous, got patients in, took their images, treated them for free, made a little book about it, fabulous, but no patients. We made a range of targeted leaflets thinking we'll break it down into each sector. So each sector had its own leaflet and they were great. So annual colour boosting and corrections become extremely important to the point where very often we invite our clients to come back at sort of six to nine months as opposed to 12 to 18 months as you would do with a set of eyebrows. So it's really a lifetime commitment for your patient and your patient really needs to understand that they need to commit to this journey with you for a lifetime and they need to be able to commit to seeing you at frequent visits quite close together. When you tend to do them, you usually find that they have a slight amount of um, more of a fluid coming through, slightly yellow yellow um, in tone, it's more lymphatic fluid that's coming through. You also find that when they heal, they do tend to heal with a little bit more ash. Also, with the fluid coming out, it does push out pigment that little bit more. So you might need to tell your patient with alopecia that it could be three sessions. So a little bit more time is spent. But what I can do is I can show you a little insight into what can arrive into your clinics. Medical work in your areas is going to get more. And along the way, what I wanted to do is to try and give you a little bit more of an insight into what you might expect to come through your doors, coming asking for it. And it's not just about what you have to do physically. It's about trying to understand the complexity and the difficulty of the journey that these women have gone through and just how much surgery and how traumatic that's been for them.